our studies of harmonic motion, students may be asked to make pendulums of various lengths and then time their periods. Well, what they will find is the shorter the pendulum length is, the shorter the period, or the, the less time it takes for it to go back and forth. And as it becomes longer, it's a slower moving pendulum, so it's going to have a longer period. Now, why would it do this? Well, I tell them to take a look at the actual path of the bob as it's swinging back and forth. Now, sometimes they have a hard time visualizing this, so I made a device that makes it a little bit easier for them to see it. So let's take a look at it. The device is actually a series of three tracks. Now, this first track is actually representing a pendulum that has a length of 24.8 centimeters long, or about this high. Now, if we have a pendulum about this high, we would expect its path that the bob is taking to be fairly steep, and it is. In fact, we see that the ball moves back and forth fairly quickly. Now, why did I pick that length? Well, that would actually represent a period of one second, or it takes one second for it to move down and back. Now, if we take a look at the second track, this track actually represents a pendulum that has a length of 99 centimeters long. Uh, if we look at it, we see that it's not nearly as steep as this one, and so when we put a ball on this one, we would expect it to go slower back and forth, and it does. So this track actually represents a pendulum that has a period of two seconds, and it's going slower because it's simply not as steep as this one. Now the last track actually represents a pendulum that has a length of 222 centimeters long. And once again, we see that it's flatter than this one. So if we put a, put a ball on this track, we would expect it to be even slower. And 222 centimeters would be the length of a pendulum that has a period of three seconds. So one second, two seconds, three seconds. So hopefully this helps students understand how the length of a pendulum affects the time that it takes for it to move back and forth a little bit quicker than just simply watching a pendulum itself. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you for watching.